Hi, I'm Jen Thoden, and welcome to another episode of The Jen Thoden Show, where you pick up tips on how you can be your most stylish, confident, and happy self. I want to talk about goals. <laughs> you know, the thing is, is that we're getting close to the new year, and this is when everybody starts to think about what they want to do differently next year. New year, new beginning, what are you going to do to, to improve yourself, right? And so we go down the path of New Year's resolutions. The thing is, is that how many people do you know, including yourself, have actually stuck to your resolutions? Probably very few. And we make these grand gestures on self-improvement. I'm going to lose 50 pounds. I'm going to work out every day. I'm gonna finally, you know, uh, finish the basement. And you, you know what it is that you know you resolve to. I want to eat healthier. I want to drink more water. Whatever it is, right? This is why gym memberships go, you know, skyrocket come beginning of the year because everybody resolves to exercise more, to you know, lose weight, to get in better shape, and. By about March, most people are not going to the gym every day. The gym is not as crowded come March and people are starting to lose interest in their resolutions. So I, like to, I would like for you to consider to think about a year in 90 day increments. So instead of planning for an entire year of all the things that you, that you want to accomplish, some of them are going to be so big that what happens to us sometimes is that we, we start out meaning well, right? We start out making steps towards our goal. But the thing is, is that our, uh, our brain and our mind and our, our subconscious get in the way and we sabotage ourselves. We start to rationalize. Well, I'll go to the gym tomorrow. I'm, I'm a little sore today, so I, I need to rest. And oh, my TV show's on, and I, I really want to watch it. So I'll, 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 you know, I'll go to the gym tomorrow. And, and before you know it, we've gotten out of any kind of habit that might have started forming. We've lost interest. We get a little bored, and, and we don't stick to our goals. For some reason, us as human beings, we get we go through 90 day cycles. We naturally do. It's actually a real thing. With 90 days is the magic cycle. So you get excited about a goal. Woo, I'm going to do this. And then within 90 days, you convince yourself and, and that it's, it's no longer important and you lose interest, you get a little bored. And a lot of the reason is that sometimes you don't see enough progress happening fast enough. And so we get discouraged and then we kind of quit or we give up and oh, that's not for me. Oh, I don't like that gym. It's too crowded. And you know, I could use that money to spend someplace else. And we convince ourselves that it's not right for us. We rationalize and then we move on and we never achieve the goal. The danger of this is that every time you promise yourself that you're going to do something and then you don't, you're basically training yourself to not believe yourself and therefore make it even harder to actually achieve a goal. So if there is something you really want secretly out, you know, you, or publicly, whatever it is that you really, really want, you've got to start to kind of train yourself to reach goals. It's a skill. It's not easy. A lot of people don't reach their goals because things get in the way and we don't know how to overcome and we don't know how to deal with not past 90 days. And so those goals go away. So here's what I would like for you to play with because this could actually be a lot of fun. I want you to think about the result that you're trying to achieve. A lot of us know that we want to improve our world, improve our situation, improve our bodies or whatever, but we don't actually really consider exactly what it is that we're trying to achieve. So if you say to yourself that I want to lose 15 pounds, maybe it's 50 pounds, maybe it's 100 pounds, I don't know. That's great, but why? And yeah, I don't mean like why, oh, because um, I'm gonna be healthier, and oh, I'll, I'll look great in my clothes. Those are all really good whys. I want you to think about and envision the actual result. What will happen when you lose 50 pounds? What will you look like? How 
will you dress? How will you walk? How will you feel? I want you to really kind of think about it and, and you know, create a vision board. You know, use Pinterest or whatever you want to do. You can use physical uh, pin board and really design the person that you want to be. Do you envision yourself traveling in this new body? Do you envision going shopping and feeling great in your new clothes? Maybe you're gonna get a new haircut or, you know, whatever it is. And this is just a weight loss uh, example, but it could be anything, right? Um, I'm going to finally get organized. Okay, well, that's great, but what does that mean? Does your life get easier? Do you imagine yourself being more efficient? Is your house nicer to live in? So think of the actual results because that's what's kind of going to drive you long term. Because even when we get off track, and we all, we all get off track, what is it that actually really pulls you to your goal, okay? So the next thing that I want you to think about is not to achieve the goal all at once because that's when things kind of fall apart. I want you to break it down into 90 days and I want you to think about what you can achieve in just 90 days, okay? So, you, well, I'll use the weight loss example because it's just because it's numbers and it's easy to give the example, but you can apply this to just about anything that you want to work on. And I want you to decide what it is that you think you can achieve in 90 days. And I want it to be achievable. You should want it to be achievable. Don't make it so hard that you get frustrated and give up. Okay, those first 90 days because you're learning how to set goals and you're learning how to take action steps, it's a skill that you need to learn. So pick an achievable goal for 90 days, okay, and write it down. Put it on your, on your vision board. And then I want you to break it down into month. So for, for your first 30 days, what will it be? For your second 30 days, what will it be? And for your third 30 days, what will obviously it'll be the goal itself the end goal okay so now you've broken it down into more manageable things so let's just say that your goal is to lose nine pounds in 90 days it's nice and achievable it's a healthy weight loss and and, and you like that idea it, that seems pretty simple not so intimidating and by the time you break it down to 30 days you only have three pounds to lose for 30 days you can you say okay i can do that now before you get all excited, after you've written down your goals, I want you to think about how you're going to achieve it because it's your strategy that will make the difference. What will you need to change in your environments in order for you to be successful? Who will help you be accountable so that you don't have to support yourself? You will likely, well, I hate saying this, but it's true. You will likely fail if you're the only person that is accountable for your success. Why do you think that um, programs like, you know, uh, Weight Watchers, when there is a group that supports you and holds you up, it, are so successful? And it's because you have accountability partners. So find someone that you trust that's not going to bring you down, that's not going to judge you or criticize you, that you can share your goals with, and agree to say, hey, can I, can I? Just send you an email or call you once a week and just share with you how I'm doing. It's just a way for you to feel accountable and to share outward. And the more that you, that you do this, the more likely you will stay on track because you're going to start to discover that you're making progress and you should celebrate that. And you should celebrate it with someone. It's a good friend, your spouse, your partner, your neighbor, doesn't, you know, uh, your personal trainer, who, whoever it is, and celebrate your small wins because that is what's going to get you to the bigger goal. And if you are in a rush and you're going to get, and you, and you want to get there faster, well, don't be, at least not at first. Okay. Remember this is a year long goal and, and, and a, it's going to take a year probably to achieve some of the goals that you might, might have set for yourself. So set 90 days at a time. Once you achieve that 90 day goal, you should celebrate. You should definitely have a reward in mind that when you make that, when you achieve that goal, you reward yourself and then make it an event to set the 90 day goal 
and your 30 day goals and your strategy to achieve the next set of goals. And now that you've done it once, you'll have more confidence and belief in yourself and you can maybe even make that goal a little stretchier. So if it was nine pounds this time, maybe it's 15 because now you believe you can do it. This is very powerful and this is what you need to do in order for you to be successful at your goals. So forget about New Year's resolutions. Get serious about what it is that you want to do. Design your world, design your ultimate you, and then take action steps and measured goals to get there. And make sure you've got a strategy and how you do that. And if you don't know how to do that, then ask someone who does, right? You can't do it all yourself. Again, don't do it all yourself. Find your support system, get people to help you, and create the you that you know is inside of you and that you want to be and most desire so that you can be your most stylish, confident, and happy self. I'm Jen Thoden. Please visit my blog at jenthoden.com. Thank you so much for watching and listening, and I will see you in another episode.